my channel. My name is TJ Ifejik. If you don't already know, okay, so you already read the title, so I don't even gotta tell you what we doing. But I'm still gonna tell you anyways. We're gonna be talking about this hair, this nice curly hair, this voluptuous curly hair from Beauty Forever. Okay, we're gonna be talking about. I'm gonna show you how I styled it, how I got these baby hairs, and also I'm gonna give you a little brief review on the hair itself. So make sure you stay to the end. Okay, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And TikTok. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, enjoy the video. You are going to need black permanent hair dye, and this is pretty much a one step process. So, you take these two things that come in the box and you mix it together, shake it up, 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 and apply it to the hair. And I really like this dye because black permanent dye makes sure that the hair does not bleed when you wash it and since it's going to be curly hair i know i'm going to be putting a lot of water in it so i don't want it to bleed on my clothes i also go in with um this jet black dye from kiss colors just to ensure and seal that black color into the hair i'm not a big fan of the natural brown color that comes with the hair i want it to be black moving on to applying the hair so i'm just gonna comb it out i've already cut the lace on this hair because i've applied it before but we just gonna go in with the bold hold active this is my favorite glue and this brush that i'm using it's four sides like can you believe it's four sides it has like a little spatula on the other end combs and all that so i will link it in the description box for you guys if you want it so yes, just put on your hair and I go in about two layers of this glue, depending on where I'm going and what I plan on doing, depends on the layers. But for now, I'm just gonna put two layers. I'm just gonna do this all around the perimeter of my head. The key to a beautiful install is not putting the glue all over your head. So notice how I put the glue down, but I brought the lace above my hairline. So, cause I'm gonna go back in later and put more glue. And then I'm also going to cut off that extra lace that is not needed. I'm gonna take an elastic band and wrap my hair for about like five, 10 minutes, and then proceed to take out the hairs that I would want for baby hairs because I'm gonna pluck behind their hairline to give it that scalp look. I recently stopped using the got to be freeze tag spray. It was just too harsh for my skin and I started using this bed head spray and I got this tip from this YouTuber. So I just used that in replacement for the got to be spray and just sprayed along my hairline to seal that lace into my scalp and wrap my hair with that same elastic band for another five to 10 minutes. So now it's time to do the baby hairs. So I'm gonna use the comb side of this brush that I bought and just start mapping out where I want the baby hairs to be. I want this to look like these baby hairs are my real baby hairs. I want them to look like they're growing out of my scalp. So I'm gonna take my tweezers and plug behind the hairline of those baby hairs that I did map out and I'm gonna go in with my wax stick and to smooth it out. And then I'm gonna take this eyebrow razor and cut off some of the hair for the baby hairs and then I'm gonna go in with this foam to mold the baby hairs on where I want them to be so you really just have to play with the baby hairs and see how you wanted to frame your face and all of that because it's different for everybody and then I'm gonna go in with this got to be gel and put it on top just to set the baby hairs into place and I repeat this process all over the perimeter of my head And I also forgot to mention that make sure you pluck some of the hairs out from the section you put out for your baby hairs just so that you don't have thick baby hairs. I mean, if that's the look you want to go for, go right ahead. But if you want it to look very natural like it's coming out of your hairline, then make sure you pluck behind the hairline and also the baby hairs itself.
Okay, so I'm about to go into this hair. Do my makeup and everything. So I'm thinking like, I wanna do an updo. So we're gonna try to do that. I look very crazy right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. So first off, I'm gonna go in with this. This is my Care Care Wax Stick. And I'm just gonna put this right here. I'm gonna go with my hot comb. First, I'm gonna spray some water and I got this from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box for this. Just gonna spray it. I'm just gonna brush up. I should go with the comb. I'm gonna go with the comb. Just to brush out the curls. I'm gonna comb it in the direction that I want it to go. I'm gonna go in with this right here. This is my lot of body, foam, wrap, whatever. Let's put it right here. And then I'm gonna take a piece of the hair and I'm just gonna wrap it. And I have some lace sticking up. I'm gonna go in with my bedhead hairspray. I'm just gonna spray. So now I don't wanna spray it on my face. So we're gonna be careful. I'm gonna take a wrap and just wrap it right quick okay so now that i have this in a ponytail i'm gonna spray my water from here just to bring back the curls and run my fingers through it i'm also gonna go in with this lot of body again I wish I had a diffuser so then I could like get it wet and just like oop. I mean I do that. I wish I could like get it wet and then like dry it, but I don't, so I don't want to get it too wet. For the hair itself, I'm just gonna go over it with the water again, but lightly. Get them juicy curls back. Okay. I think I'll be back and I'm gonna go see what it's looking like in the mirror. I'm gonna make some tweaks, but I'm gonna be right back. So this is pretty much it. And the last thing I'm gonna do is go in with this right here. And this is my Silk Therapy from Bile Silk. I'm going with that. I'm just gonna run it through the hair just to give it some shine, some luster. styling portion of this video um i really love this hair i just want to let you guys know like i really love this hair i haven't had long curly hair in a long time and this 
felt good to break the virginity of that. <laughs> it felt good. So let's talk about the hair itself. So when I bought this hair and I took it out the pack, I was shocked because when I took out the frontal, it was so big and I didn't know, like I've had 13 by six frontals before, but this one just seemed like it was bigger than 13 by six. I had to take a tape measure to measure just to make sure I wasn't tripping because I've never seen it that big. And there's so much parting space, like from here to about the middle of my head, like right here is all, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's all lace, like it's all frontal. So I just really like this hair, it's so big. So I'm gonna be doing a styling part, a styling portion, like different hairstyles I could do with curly hair, but that's gonna be another video. So make sure you stay tuned for that because then you can really see how much parting space is on this hair. And that's that on that. Now for the curls, for the bundles, I love it. Um, they're so soft. Um, and this is, this is really little to no product. All I did to get these curls right here is water and, um, mousse. Pretty much it. I didn't put no cream, no, none of that. I just want to let it, let the hair be the hair. Okay. So other than that, yeah, like it was so simple it was just to get these curls. The hair is kind of big now because I've had it out for a while. I've been touching it, you know, running my fingers through it. You know, I did some TikToks. So follow me on TikTok. Okay, I did a TikTok. I know, I did a TikTok. But other than that, yes, this hair is a 10 out of 10. And I'm going to wear it more just to see what the hair itself can do. So stay tuned for more videos of this hair. But other than that, make sure you copy for every hair for your curly hair, your curly bundles. I'm slowly racking up the brands that I love to buy hair from because their hair is just so good quality. So you guys, let's just address the elephant in the room. We all know what's going on. We all have social media. We all have Instagram, Twitter, news. I'm pretty sure y'all know this to news. News is pretty much coming from Twitter and Instagram but that's fine you still know what's going on we are in a movement we are in something civil similar to a civil rights movement we read history books we go we take history classes but we never really know oh that we're living in history so this all is unfolding in 2020 and i just know this is going to be in the history books mark my words it's going to be in the history books and we're going to be telling our kids yes this is what happened i was there so Educate yourself on what's going on so then you can educate others also and teach others what reality is. And we all need to be aware of what's going on right now, okay? A lot of people's true colors are really showing and it's actually really sad to see the views of people who are not also speaking up and, you know, standing up for what is right. Because some people, I don't want to, I don't want to call no names, but some people are just oblivious, you know, to the fact, the reality. Because I feel like they're oblivious to it because they don't experience it. And it can happen to anybody. So I just wanna say, rest in peace George Floyd, rest in peace to everybody that also has died in, you know, in this similar type of way because of these people. But just be aware of what's going on, educate yourself, because this, What's happening right now was long overdue and it's just crazy that it's happening in 2020. Don't forget your purpose and don't forget to use your voice and speak up and protest. If it means protesting, go and protest. Do peaceful protesting, but don't act crazy. But act crazy if you got to. <laughs> but don't act crazy, you know, just use your sense and know why you're out there protesting. Don't just go out there because you see everybody else protesting. You need to know why you're protesting and be safe be safe protest but be safe okay do what you need to do but don't sit quiet and act like oh this is not reality because it is and with that being said you guys i'm gonna just close out this video right here make sure you follow me on twitter instagram and snapchat and also tiktok i know tiktok kind of canceled right now but follow me on there too <laughs> if you would like and also don't forget to subscribe i'm on a journey to 1k subbies so i'm giving it i'm doing a giveaway at 1k so make sure you give me the 1k you will not regret getting me to 1k because the giveaway is gonna be kind of schmack it's gonna be kind of schmack so follow me subscribe like comment and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video
Peace.